Hello everyone. In this video lecture we are going to study about direct addressing mode and indirect addressing mode. So first of all what is addressing mode? Addressing mode that is like suppose we are having a memory reference instruction. So how to find that particular op uh, particular operand in which way it is, uh, we are finding that right? So that is the addressing mode. Suppose if you see our memory instruction format right so suppose we are having 12 bit of instruction so and that 0 to 11 right so that 0 to 11 bit are for address then 12 to 14 that 3 bit are for opcode that means which kind of operation we are going to perform and the 15 bit that is i where i is either 0 or 1 which represent the addressing mode if i is equal to 0 that means we can say it's a direct addressing mode and if i is equal to 1 that means it's an indirect addressing mode now let us see this diagram i'll explain it suppose we are having this address uh, we are having this instruction right so that's an add instruction and here it's an address 457 so it's a, a 12 bit address 457 and add that's an instruction that means I need to add the data along with the data available in the accumulator. One thing keep in mind that whatever instruction we are performing those instructions are performed with the data available in the accumulator right. So add that means addition will be performed with the given data along with the data available in the accumulate right and here this 15th bit 0 it represents that this is the direct addressing mode right and this is at the 22nd location right so 22nd that's a location here like that means my program counter uh, Suppose that previous 21 instruction is uh, going on, then my program counter will be on 22. And if this instruction is executing, then my program counter will be on the 23rd location. Right. Now, 457, that's an address. Now, I can say that this address is effective address. Now, what do you mean by effective address? Effective address is a kind of address where the operand, actual operand is available, right? So here you can say that 457. So this instruction, when this instruction is executing at that time, directly will fetch the operand available at the location 457. That means at the location 457, I'm having my actual operand. And the addition operation is performed with the operand available at this 457 location along with the data available into the accumulator. And after the summation, whatever the answer, that answer is again stored in accumulator. Right, so that is direct addressing mode. While in indirect addressing mode, here, instead of having the effective address, we will have the address of effective address. Right, so that means at this location, direct address is not available of the operand, but then indirect address. That's why it is called as indirect addressing mode. Here, how can you identify whether it's a direct or indirect? So you can identify from the 15th bit. If the 15th bit is 1, that means that's an indirect addressing mode. Here, 15th bit is 0. That means mm -hmm. it's a direct addressing mode. Now, here the address available is 300 right but as it is an indirect address that means this is not my effective address this is the address of effective address that means we'll go to this 300 location where another address is available right this is not operand this is another address and this address is nothing but the effective address and when i go to this particular location that's a 1350 i'll find my actual operand right now the addition is performed with this operand along with the data available into the accumulator and the final answer is again stored in accumulator right so that is indirect addressing mode so i hope you understood this what is direct addressing mode and what is indirect addressing mode thank you